My name is Heather Hay. I'm the mom of five busy kids. I just went back to work as a preschool teacher, and I am a two-time cancer survivor. I was 37 weeks pregnant when they found a small tumor, which they thought was just pregnancy-related, but as it turns out, it was cervical cancer. The baby was born through, his, through a cesarean section. I got to kiss him. They took him away, and they did an immediate hysterectomy and removal of the tumor. But he was thankfully born okay. He was healthy. He's wild and crazy uh, three-year-old right now. They did not recommend radiation or chemo based on the fact that it looked like it hadn't spread. They just said, let's just do the hysterectomy. You can nurse your baby, and we'll just monitor you very carefully. Um, we moved to Tampa, actually, and then I enrolled at Moffitt almost within the first week or so that we'd been here. When we got to Moffitt, it was immediate CAT scan, you know, testing, blood work. They thoroughly went over all my slides and everything seemed okay. And then about a year and a half after that was when the recurrence came and that's when treatment began. The treatment was quite aggressive with chemo, um, radiation, also internal radiation. After I finished, there was talk of me doing a secondary chemo that would have been not typical protocol, but because of my age and because of a recurrence, they suggested that as a possibility. And we ended up doing that just for kind of insurance. Um, not that it's ever a guarantee, but considering all of our children and, our, and my age and the fact that it had happened before, we opted for that really aggressive treatment. And I wanted to do everything that we could to ensure that I could be there for my children and my family. In fact, my daughter wrote me this note. I should have brought it with me. We were staying in a hotel after I finished treatment, and it was just kind of a random thing, and she put it under my pillow one night, and it said, Dear Mom, you have given me the strength to stand up and always be courageous. That's what it said. I guess when the kids saw me getting up and trying to put a smile on and go to, go to chemo and go to radiation, they felt like that was courageous. So I keep that with me. You know, it's in a frame, but I, I just, I will never forget that. Moffitt is a holistic hospital. They treat the whole patient. Um, emotionally, physically, the whole package, which I think is pretty unusual for um, a cancer center that, of this size. I really do. Dr. Fernandez is absolutely amazing. He is my um, radiation oncologist, and he is very gentle, very kind. Um, his nurse, Lori, is the same way. We call them the dream team because they just work together so beautifully. Oh, wow. I, um, I could not express to him how grateful I am. I feel like I'm here today because of him and Lori. I, I believe that from the bottom of my heart. I look at my children, I just am so incredibly thankful because I'm not sure I would be here, honestly, if it were not for them and for Moffitt. I taught kindergarten before I had my children and now I'm teaching preschool. It feels um, invigorating to be back doing something that's not about being sick, that's not about going through chemotherapy. It's hard to kind of put into words how tangibly exciting it is. I'm very thankful that I'm healthy enough to be able to do that.